Welcome to the channel and in this video we will see how we can run python code or python programs in windows 11 operating system. We will take a look at some of the methods that we can use in order to run python codes or python programs. So in order to continue with this video you need to download and install latest version of python in your computer. If you don't know about it then I have already made a tutorial. I will provide the link in the description box. You guys can watch those tutorials and uh, install python so once python is installed we can go ahead and we can run python programs in our computer so first we will take a look at how we can run python codes using the python interactive shell so we will click on the start button and we will search for python and here we can find the python app if we open up that one it will open up the python shell using this python shell we can execute some python code for example i can say print here and i can say hello youtube and if i hit the enter button the code runs and we can see the output of that similarly we can say x equal to 10 y equal to 20 and then you know we can perform x plus y you know we get the result of that similarly we can perform x multiplied by y you know we get the result of that you know we can run python codes in here now this is the interactive mode where we write or execute a python statement and we immediately see the output of that now if you want to exit of this then you can use the exit function like this and you hit the enter button the python shell terminates now the next thing is you can get the same python shell using the command prompt also we click on the start button we will search for cmd and open up the command prompt and here we will type in python and if i hit the enter button again we get the same python shell and here we can write and execute the python statements for example i will say print and here i can say hello and if i hit the enter button we can see the output of this uh, statement similarly just like the python shell we can uh, write and execute the python statements in here python code in here so in order to exit from this we will use the exit function and we will come out of the python shell now the next thing that we see is how we can write the python program using a text editor like notepad and how we can run that using the command prompt so here uh, to demonstrate that i will open up the notepad you guys can use any simple text editor and then we will write a very simple python program in here so I will use the input function in order to take the user input and here I'm going to say enter your name and whatever the value that the user enters we will store that in this name variable and then we will use the print function and we will say hello and then we will display the value that the user entered which is present in this name variable a very simple program now once we have written this program we will go to file and we will go to save i'm going to go to my desktop and here i'm going to create a new folder and i will call it as python and in this folder inside this python folder i will save the file i will say hello.py .py is the extension for the files which contain the python code and if you're using notepad then make sure that save as type is all files otherwise it will save it as a text file so after that click on save now the program has been saved we will uh, close this uh, text editor and now in the desktop we can see this python folder we will open it up and here we can find this python file now in order to run this what we have to do is we have to open up the command prompt with the path of this particular folder uh, a simple trick that we can use is we will uh, left click on this navigation section and it will highlight the path you guys can see desktop python we will type in cmd and we will hit the enter button what it does is it will open up the command prompt with the path for this particular folder you guys can see desktop and python now in order to run this python file all we have to do is we have to write python space then the name of the file which is hello.py and if i hit the enter button the program runs and it says enter your name i will enter my name and it says hello anil 
So that is the output of our program. Now here what we are doing is we are running this program using the command prompt. Now the next method that I'm going to show you here is in Windows 11 operating system in order to run a Python file what you can do is you can select the file right click on it you can go to open with and you will find something called as Python just click on that it will open up the Python shell and it will run your script so here enter your name I will enter my name and watch out now once I hit the enter button the program executes and the python shell terminates so the problem here is we can't really see the output of the program because the program terminated very quickly now for some reason if we have to see the output of the program then what we can do is we can modify this program just a bit so i will right click on this file open with notepad and then in the end of this file i will add one more statement i will use the input function in here and i will say hit the enter key in your keyboard to exit okay so what we are doing is we are making this program to take a user input and it will act as a pause to a program so we are not doing anything with the user input that we are taking here after that we will go to file save and we will close this and now uh, what we do is we will select the file we will right click on it we will go to open with and then we will choose python and here right now it says enter your name i will enter my name and if i hit the enter button now it now it will display the output which is hello anil and then it says hit the enter key in your keyboard to exit i misspelled hit here so all i have to do is hit the enter key in my keyboard and the program terminates now this is another way of running a python file in windows now the last method that we see in this tutorial is about how we can use the python ideally in order to run the python codes and the codes written in a file so what we do is we will click on the start button we will search for ideally we can see python ideally we will open it up and by default it opens up the python shell here which is again an interactive mode where we can write uh, python statements and we can execute them for example i can use the print and i can say hello you know it will execute the program similarly i can say x equal to 10 uh, y equal to 20 and i can say x plus y you know it will produce a result so this is the interactive mode just like the python shell where we can write and execute some python statements now this python ideally offers one more option which is if you want to write uh, the python code in a file and you want to execute that then that particular option is also available all you have to do is you have to click on this file you can see you have the option of creating a new file you have the option of uh, opening an existing file what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna click on this open and i will open up the the file that we have created in our desktop inside this python folder so i will open up this hello and you guys can see it opens up the python file where we can edit make modifications to the program if needed so here i will get rid of this last input statement and then i will uh, uh, go to file and i will save it now in order to run this we can uh, click on this run and we can say run module once we do that it opens up the it restarts the python shell here and it runs the program so enter your name i will enter my name and if i hit the enter button we can see the output of our program now these are the ways in which we can run the python programs now apart from these if you're using the text editors like vs code or sublime or uh, any other ides then you can set them up and you can easily write and execute python programs so this is it guys for this video thank you for watching if you like the video hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you have anything to say then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this subscribe to the channel